capsule. A capsule. Describe this capsule for me. Does it have a color? It's red. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? It's got a window. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's small. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's just big enough for two people. And where is this capsule? Where do you see it? Just in a mist. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. What happens after you see this capsule? Two people come out of the capsule. Mm -hmm. They have spacesuits on. They're white spacesuits. They have like a bubble, a, a bubbles cap uh, top mm -hmm. for their head, and like a space man. One's a female, and one's a, one's a male. Mm -hmm. They talk to me. I say hello. So let's find out what they tell you. Be there now. Female says, she says she's me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I don't understand. She says she's from our, the future of this earth and she said she was from to 20 26 mm -hmm. and I didn't understand how she could be me she was young so let's ask her okay what's her name what's your name Eva. Eva. Viva. I think it's Eva. Eva. Mm hmm. Eva. Say the name and ask her if that's right. Is that right? Evita or something like that. Mm hmm. Evita. Does mm -hmm. that sound better? Yeah. Mm hmm. So let's ask Evita how old she is. 31. Mm hmm. And where is Evita? Where does she live? Where did she come from? Earth. Mm -hmm. What year? Twenty one eleven or something mm -hmm. like that. Give her that date and see if it sounds right. 2111. 2111, 2110. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So let's ask Evita what caused her to go back in time. What was the mission? To help. Mm hmm. To help Earth, mm -hmm. past Earth, Earth's past. To help Earth's past? Are they here to change the timelines? To help me. To help you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So ask them in which way are they helping you? To give me information, to open my mind to help others. Mm -hmm. To open to, you? Yeah, to teach me. To teach you. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what Avita is going to teach you today.
she she wants to teach me that that everything is not just black and white everything is not just it, black and white there's other things that are going on that I don't see mm -hmm. speak louder so but I can hear you there's I don't there's other things that are going on that I that I don't see that I should I will become aware of mm -hmm. can she give you an example the veil mm -hmm. the veil I could she says I can come through I can get through the veil and communicate mm -hmm. so ask Avita what's the way in which you will be going through the veil Meditate. Meditate. And once you meditate, will you be able to go through the veil? She, she, she says, then I can communicate with those on that side and help other people, help others. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what else she has to tell you. I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. Believe in myself and have confidence in myself. Why is it so important for you to have confidence in, in yourself? So that so that I don't have don't have what? Blocks. Mm-hmm. What causes those blocks? My, my mind. Mm -hmm. So by meditating and believing in yourself, yes, you'll be able to remove those blocks from your mind. She says. I just have to remove them because I have to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time for me to help others. I have to let go of the fear, of the fear. So I need to have the confidence now. Mm -hmm. Can we begin removing those blocks right now? Yes. All right, so let's begin. Let's take those blocks out now that she is in a meditative state and able to go through the veil. Let's remove those blocks. And as those blocks are removed, tell me how that is changing her abilities. She shouldn't be afraid anymore mm -hmm. to, to base her abilities anymore. She's mm -hmm. not afraid. Who put those blocks in there? I don't know, but there's there's a lot of I'm trying to pull a lot of wires or not wires, but. I see them trying to pull them, pull it out, but it's just a lot of like spider webs and tangles. Mm -hmm. So put yourself in a state of allowing and not holding those spider webs in. Imagine yourself releasing all of those spider webs so that they can become uprooted. And tell me what you're visualizing now. Latches being removed, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. They're being detached. Mm -hmm. Very good. So just ask Evita, 
when she'll be able to give you the next information. Is she ready to give you the next piece of information now? Mm. Just no. Not, not she says not yet. Not yet. So is that the only thing that she had to tell you? Or is there more? Not at this time. Not at this time. So I want you to connect with them and find tell me what feelings are you getting from them? It's kinda of cold. Mm -hmm. Um I, I feel like, like he he's happy to see me, mm -hmm. and I feel like like they know a lot of things, and they don't like I'm a little kid learning, mm -hmm. but it's just well now that you've gotten some of those blocks out. Let's ask Avita if she'll give you some more information. Perhaps about the Earth. What's the reason that you need to help people now? What's happening to the Earth at this time? The Earth is. The earth is uh, is going to a major change. And it's people need to help others. It's time to help others. And we needed to make sure that she could have this information when the time was right. Mm -hmm. Now you say that what? the earth is going through major changes. Is this a vibrational change or physical change? Mostly vibrational, but both. Mm -hmm. Tell them to give you more information. Something about two or a different kind of earth. Um, they, they are in, I guess they wanted to make sure that I, if I would move into a, a better earth, there's a better earth, and then there's a one that's not so, that's, Earths. One that's not, not dying, but it's low. Mm -hmm. Low vibration? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did you get yourself into this new earth? How do I get myself into this new earth? What awareness, feeling, feeling emotionally, feeling happy, mm -hmm. feeling more love, and and sending love for others.
It does the new earth look exactly like the old earth? Would we know the difference? One feels what the new the newer earth, the higher one feels more comfortable, more bright. It has brighter colors, mm -hmm. and we're not we're not so scared. We don't we feel more love. Mm -hmm. We feel more excited to do things. We don't have so many negative, dark issues like we do now. Mm -hmm. And in what year does this new earth transform itself or become real? Different, different times for different people. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. different people. A lot of people for 2018. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, oh. a lot of people will be on going to the we'll new earth. Will be feeling feeling the new earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we ever go from one earth to another? Do we ever go back to the old mm -hmm. earth? Yes, to help, to help. Mm -hmm. You're stepping in to help. Okay, and then we go back. You can do both. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so you you come in to help, and then you you go back when you're when you're not helping because mm -hmm. you're aware. Do you ever get to a point where you can't go back? Yeah, you don't want to. Mm -hmm. You just it's, stay. Yeah, things are. Are not going to be like that forever. Mm -hmm. It's going to. Are there times when some of the people don't go to the new earth? Some people will. Some people will go. Some people will not. Will not. Will not go. Um, to the new earth, they'll remain, and then in spirit, they might want to be born into the new earth mm -hmm. when they're ready. So just an example, if you have a child or a family member that does not go with you to the new earth, what happens to them? Do you lose track of your child? Or is there somehow someone who represents your child in the new earth? How does that work? What happens? Some people may not go to the new earth if they have to leave their family behind. For example, it, it feels like they're saying that if you go to the new earth, if you have that awareness, then you will understand. You'll have a more, more of a understanding and perspective as to what the family members why they're not coming mm -hmm. in, in a way that we don't understand it now. So we'll be able to release them in a loving it's way? It's like, they'll, like we'll know that they have to be there and they'll, we'll see them again. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with this new earth, this shift of vibration, will there be any, any changes physically to the earth? Will she be adjusting physically, wobbling around, things like that. If 
She's going to have some issues, she said. Mm -hmm. What kind of issues? She, she's going to have some some shaking. Mm -hmm. What kind of shaking? There's going to be some earthquakes. Mm -hmm. um, something like maybe in South America. Mm -hmm. um, in where? Iran. Mm -hmm. So maybe some in the United. Huh? What will happen? South America, Iran, United States. Some in different places. Mm -hmm. Says so it's not just those, but well, some of it will be big. Mm -hmm. Some of it will cause a lot, a lot of chaos, but. Mm -hmm. It's just like she has to shake it off. It's the earth, the Gaia. Mm -hmm. The Gaia has to shake she shake it off. Some stiff energies that were just there. Mm -hmm. So what happens to the people who are on the new earth during these earthquakes? During the shaking. They're not having earthquakes there. They're not. So no. they won't even notice it. No. Mm -hmm. Some people are there already. They are. Is Lolly there on the new earth? She okay. she tries to be, she's almost there, and then she comes back with her. she gets too caught up in and some of the things that the politics and, mm -hmm. and then she tries to not listen to the politics and and then she and then she goes right back and mm -hmm. it happens to a lot of people so what do they suggest that people do in order for them to move forward much quicker into the new earth fear what? don't Lose the fear. Have have faith. Look to whatever your spiritual beliefs are, and just Jesus mm -hmm. or your angels. Or the fear is so strong; it'll keep us here if we keep attaching ourselves to the situations that are going on, on on the earth right now the things that are being played out mm -hmm. like the politics and the warfares and the, the diseases and things that we're afraid of so the people on the new earth would they even notice any of these things that are going on It's a different, it's a different system. Okay. Yes. Very good. What else would do these space travelers have to tell you? I'm interested in how their Earth looks. What does their Earth look? It has, it doesn't have that many buildings. Mm. This, a lot of it is natural. It's, they have streams that are clean and, and they don't have all the diseases that... What? They don't have mosquitoes. Mm. That's what I, she just told me. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gosh. Um, they, their, their sky seems bluer. Mm -hmm. Like really the trees show me show me. oh the trees are big mm -hmm. they have buildings but they don't have a lot like we have here mm -hmm. and it's more clear clear 
not a lot of smoke and but not a lot of haze. What is their transportation like in this year? Twenty one, eleven, or ten. What does it look like? Are they capsules? Like she came in. Twenty one. Um, they have those. Um, they use them like cars. They she said. Mm -hmm. Can they go anywhere? Yeah, they can go. They can go in the past and. They can go in the future. Only some. Mm -hmm. Some people are not interested in that. They do other things. So let's ask Evita how it is that she came into the past. What technology is that that they use to go into the past? What was, what was that? Wait, she's telling me and I'm not. Okay, something to do with crystals, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So they use crystals in order to yes. take them back in time? Yeah. Let's ask Evita if others have been messing with our past, with their past, our future. She says, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can she tell us a little bit about that? What's going on? Who's been messing with us, with our timelines? She says that it's energies that are, you know, that are beings that are, have energies that are dark, mm -hmm. darker, and they, do, and they don't want us to, they don't like it because people are waking up mm -hmm. and the timelines are are the only way for now for them to change but it's starting not to work it's it's starting not to work for them anymore mm -hmm. they are doing what they can to make the people uh, against each other mm -hmm. Did they have anything to do with the Mandela effect? She says yes. Mm -hmm. What was the reason why some people have rem have thoughts remembering some things and some things have changed? What caused that? She says it happens to me. Yes, it happened to me, to Lolly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it happened to me. What she happened says, to Lolly? She said that she went into a different timeline once. What caused that? Ask them if they're aware of that. They don't know? They don't. They don't. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. Do they have any more information about where they lived can, that can, can help us? They, they only said that they came to help try to wake us all up. Mm -hmm. And because so that we can the, the more of us to go to the new earth because I guess eventually the the earth is not going to be viable for us anymore mm -hmm. um, after a while was this would this be because of something natural or something that man has done it's natural it's 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 in really natural because she says that the, she says that where our bodies, our awareness, 
is not going to be on the frequency of uh, the third or the third the third Gaia the third, mm. the third, the third. Third, third dimension, mm -hmm. and it's not going to be. It's not going to be no more. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what message would they like to give humanity now about what can we can expect? And those of us who are here and are supposed to be here helping others are where they're supposed to be or will be where they're supposed to be and not to have the fear of the climate the changes or the shaking or all the things that that we hear on the news of the, of the wars and don't have fear, just keep helping to wake others. Very good. Mm. Do they have any more information? No. No. All right, I'd like to thank Evita for that information, and for your son, for him, for that information they've given us. And now let's close that scene, and now let's move to another time where you experience waking up in the morning. Your body was vibrating, and you couldn't see because you were getting dizzy. Let's go back in time to that event. And tell me what's happening. Oh, the vibrations. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they were so strong. And I couldn't stop them. Mm -hmm. So acclimate yourself with the body as you're receiving that energy again. And let's find out where this energy is coming from. Does it have a color? Does it have an origin? What is this energy? It came from, it came from me. Mm -hmm. It was inside me. Let's find out what that energy is. Identify with it. You'll know. What's the reason that energy was created by you? It was, it was to move. It was... It was to move through... I never moved through a timeline like that. Mm -hmm. It's my first time. And what was it's, the reason for that? Um, the reason was part of part of to help me to help me see to help me to prepare for the things that I know uh, things now mm -hmm. the, to have these experiences in the past so I could look back on the past and say I had these experiences so they so everything's not just the way black and white and nothing's just straight. There's other things that I need to explore. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. what do you need to explore now? What's the next stage of exploration? You've gone through timelines. What next? Explore. Now I need to... Now I need to, to help other people be able to see that there's things that are not just that are not seen and not heard by the ordinary person there's more oh oh this is this is illusion mm -hmm. the life that we're living like my life right now is just a part of like a stage tell me more about that and there's more there's more things there's there's real other things that are going on all around us and we're just experiencing we're just having experiences mm -hmm. so when when I go back in those and draw back from the experiences and the dreams such as those it lets me know that that there's more to 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 uh to try to find the words um to explore mm -hmm. yeah very good so now that we've taken that that dream that experience i'd like for you now to go to the experience where you were talking to two individuals audrey hepburn and elvis and tell me what was that conversation all about what was the purpose of going through that experience I guess I guess I'm they knew me mm -hmm. they knew me all right or I asked them for an interview for so let's go back in time. I want you to take a deep breath in and know the answer. Did you know them or did you need that experience? I think I knew them. Mm -hmm. Let's find out when. Uh. See the picture in your mind of when you knew them. In the fifties or sixties, mm -hmm. like when they were young. Fifties. Who were you then? Were you somebody else? Or was that a different timeline? Yeah, I, I see a woman there. I think they think it's me. Mm -hmm. I think she was an actress or something. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who this actress was. Let's get the name of this actress. She was she the actress they think is me or mm -hmm. 
she she was see she had blonde hair your hair was blonde mm -hmm. blonde hair what else yeah. How old was she there? Um, well, when they were being interviewed? Mm -hmm. Older. Mm -hmm. Older, probably 50s or 60s. So let's get the name. What's the first name? Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I want you to go ahead and listen. Listen for your whole name as someone calls you. Marion. Oh. It was Marion Davies. Marion Davies. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think I'm her. Mm -hmm. Acclimate yourself into that body, and let's find out what's going on there. She, she was... She... I was asking her some questions. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. It's Miss Davies. Was a past life? Or is someone who perhaps is influencing you now? the first thing that comes into your mind. She... She was... She... I don't... I don't know if I'm her. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm her. Alright. So is Miss Davies affecting your life now? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Not, I don't know. Let's find out. Do a scan of your body and let's find out if we find Miss Davies here today. Do a scan and see if perhaps she wants to be addressed. What's yeah. Mm hmm Where is she? On my leg. On your leg. Uh -huh. Which leg is she on? My right leg. Right leg. Very good. So I'm going to bring my hand over to your right leg and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good evening, Miss Davies. Hello. How long have you been there with Lolly? Since she was a child. What relationship do you have with her, Miss Davies? She was afraid. Mm. So what did you want to do with her since she was so afraid? I wanted her to dance. Mm. Is that what you did, Miss Davies? Did you dance? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what happened to you? I... I just... just didn't dance anymore. Mm -hmm. Did you have issues with your legs? Or your hands? Uh, no. Why didn't you dance, Miss Davies? I was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Just it was dominating. It was dominating you? Yes. So what happened to you, Miss Davies? 
How did you end your life? I was old. You were old. So after you left that body, Miss Davies, where did you go? Did no, you go I, home so, to source or did you hang out? I went to hang out, yes. Mm -hmm. And what happened? I wanted to be a star. I wanted to do it again. Mm -hmm. So that's how you found Lolly? She was... She was in her own world mm -hmm. as a kid, and I wanted her to have a better situation, so I wanted her to dance. And but you realize, Miss Davies, that she had her own free will. Yeah. What have you been causing her all this time? How has she been feeling your influence in her body? Just tired. Tired? Is that why she's tired all the time? Part, partially, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? What else does she feel from you? No motivation anymore. No motivation? No. Because mm -hmm. she feels like an old lady? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Miss Davies? Um, I don't know, 60s or 70s. Mm -hmm. What else are you causing uh, her in her body? To feel like an old lady. Mm -hmm. to Did you have anything to do with her relationships at all? I didn't want, I didn't want her to, to be in a relationship. So what did you do when she if, was in a relationship? If, if the man's dominating, I, I help her to end it. Mm. So you made her get away from that situation? I helped. Mm -hmm. So can we help you today, Miss Davies? Do you feel that oh. it's time for you to finally shine like a star? I want to be a star. Mm -hmm. We can be a star very easily. Would you like me to help you? Yes. Very good. Miss Davies, inside of you, you will see a very bright light. I'd like for you to focus on that light and tell me when you see it. I see it. All right, so now, Miss Davies, make that white light as bright as you. Make it bigger and bigger until it totally encapsulates your entire being. And when it finally does, make it even bigger. And tell me how that feels to be like a star. It does. Mm -hmm. It feels like a star. Well, this is the light from your creator, Miss Davies. This is where you need to go back home to the source. Are you ready to go home now? Yes. Very good, but before you go, you've been causing quite a damage to this woman's life, haven't you? Would you like to tell Lolly something before you leave? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Lolly, what would you like to tell Miss Davies? Can you forgive her? Yes, I forgive her. Mm -hmm. Let's send Miss Davies love. And now, Miss Davies, I'm going to call my angels of the white light. And they always tell you something. What are they telling you? The star is shining there. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like, Miss Lolly, for you to pull out all of the influence from her legs. Pull everything out. She doesn't need to have any trace of you left. And go ahead through the crown of her head. And Archangel Michael is there and he will escort you straight home. And tell me when you get there, who's there to greet you? Hmm. Loved ones. Your loved ones. Very good. So now that you're in that beautiful shining white light, I'd like for you to go ahead and send the beam of light 
into her legs to heal the area where you were residing. Go ahead and seal that space. And tell me, Miss Davies, as you're shining that light, tell me if there are any others that are also affecting her. There's, there's one in the stomach area. In the stomach. Okay, very good. So, Miss Davies, thank you for that information, and may the light of the universe always accompany you. And now let me bring up that that entity that's in the stomach. Up, 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 up. Good evening. Are you male or female energy? Um, I don't want to say. You don't want to say? Are you scared? You can tell me. What can I call you? Sorry. Shy. Shy, how long have you been there in her stomach? No. No. You don't know? Shy, are you part of Lolly or have you attached to her? I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? Mm -hmm. What? Why is it that you don't want to talk, Shy? Are you scared? Mm -hmm. Are you scared that you're going to be found out? Mm -hmm. Are you hiding from someone, Shy? You can tell me. I think so. You think so? How old are you, Shy? Nine. Nine. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, I'm a girl. You're a girl. Mm -hmm. And what can I call you besides Shy? What's your given name? Emily. Emily. Emily, how long have you been there hiding out in her stomach? What, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to help you here today, Shy. You're going to help? Mm hmm. We're going to help you. What was the reason you're in her stomach? What are you hiding from? I don't know. Mm. Emily, when you had a body, what happened to it? I got kicked. You got kicked? Who all kicked you? You got kicked all the time? Who kicked mm. you? My dad. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you, Emily? Oh, 19... 1962. Mm -hmm. So what happened after you you left your body? Where did you go? Where did you hide out? I was afraid and I, I, was, I was looking for a place to go. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to get kicked anymore, did you? No. No. And how old was Lolly when you found her? Four. Four. And why did you attach to her? She said hello. She said hello. Did she see you? Yes. Mm hmm. Did you play with each other? No. She said. She said she would take care of me. She would. Okay. Her, my friend. Your friend. So, Emily, did you have anything to do with her getting in trouble with her family? With the bullying? Did you keep her from being courageous with them? I, I just hid. You hid? I just hid. Did you make her hide too? I don't... She didn't hide, she just cried. She just cried? Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel when she cried? It felt, it felt okay because she was afraid too. Mm -hmm. So you both matched the same thing, didn't you? Yeah. Well, Emily, she's grown up to be a big, courageous woman now. And she doesn't want to hide anymore. Can we help you now come out of hiding, knowing that 
you're not going to be hurt anymore? Would you allow me to help you? Nobody's going to kick me. Nobody's going to kick you. You want to find out how? Okay. All right. Emily, I want you to look at that light that's shining from inside of you. Tell me when you find that light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to use your mind and make that light bigger and bigger. And tell me how it feels to make that light bigger and bigger. How does that light feel to you? It feels more, it feels warm, mm -hmm. more safe. So let's make that light bigger and bigger and bigger. Make it as big as the, the entire body. Tell me how it feels to have it as big as you. It feels okay. Mm -hmm. So now that you're full of that white light, that light from the Creator who loves you so much, who created your soul, is there any reason for you to be shy anymore? No. Do you feel the love? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, Emily, I'd like for you to begin pulling all of your influence and energy from her body. And I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to surround you with their wings. And tell me how it feels to be loved by them. This feels good. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go home now? Go back home to Source? Okay. Alright, so go ahead and begin pulling out everything from her stomach. And I'd like now for Lolly to make yourself very small and go into your stomach and tell me what it looks like from the inside. What has Emily done to your stomach? She... She was in a lot of areas in mm. my upper... Area. All right. So there was a lot of pains. Mm -hmm. So she has a lot of pins in there. No, th she had she had caused a lot of pain. Pain. All right. So what does your stomach look like? What colors do you see in there that shouldn't be there? Does it look like a normal stomach? Mm, yeah, I think she's pulled it all out. Very good. So I'd like for you, while you're there, to go ahead and begin shining the white light into your stomach and begin the healing process. And now, Emily, are you ready to go now? Yeah. All right. What would you like to tell this beautiful woman? Goodbye. I'll see you again. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to have you go up through the top of her head. And Archangel Michael will take your hand there, Emily. And he's going to take you straight up to Source. And tell me when you get there who you see. Who's there? My oh, grandma. Mm. How does it feel to see your grandma again? <sighs> Grandma's been waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. And Emily, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now, Lolly, take a very deep breath in and let me connect now with your higher self. Do I have permission to ask Lolly's questions today? Yes. Thank you very much. I'd like for you to tell me, what is her purpose in life? What is she supposed to be doing? She's supposed to be using her gifts mm -hmm. to help people. What are her gifts? She has a gift of sin of feeling, of hearing, and 
she has a gift of putting herself in different places. Mm -hmm. Like that timeline? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. She can do that. So how can she help the people that need her help? How can she help them by using that gift? Some people will want to know about how they, how some people will ask questions about themselves and their life or what to, what to look forward to or what to, just questions mm -hmm. and she'll have answers for them. Wonderful. She says she wants to have a stronger connection with her guides, with Jesus, with the healing team. How can she do that? She had blocks. Mm -hmm. Some of it was just fear. Some of it was just doubts. We've removed some of them today. Mm -hmm. She needs to look for the signs now. Okay. What kind of signs is she going to be getting? First, she'll see little things. Like, she'll co consider coincidences. Mm -hmm. Like signs or read something or something on the floor floor that she'll see. After a while, she'll start seeing things and hearing things in a more clear way. Mm -hmm. Who's helping her with these gifts that she has? She's got, she's got the angel. Mm -hmm. She's got Jesus. She's got her grandmother. And she has guides. Very good. How many guides are working with her at this moment? Two. Two. What are their names? Feel. Mm -hmm. Feel. Philemon or something. Mm -hmm. Philomar? Or something with Phil. Mm -hmm. And a female. Um, um, Amarea. Amarea? Yeah, something mm. like that. Very good. What is it that they're particularly working on, these two guides? Phil's been trying to get her her confidence back mm -hmm. and help her with her motivation and and Mariah helps her in her dreams. Okay, so we've been working with dreams in the last hour. Mm -hmm. So now she wants to be a lot more confident, a lot more motivated and remove this fear. She wants to take more chances. Were any of these entities stopping her from doing that? Miss Davies mm -hmm. was disappointed in some of the things in her life, even though she was somewhat successful. Mm -hmm. But she didn't feel that way, so she got disappointed, and Lolly felt that. Mm -hmm. And when she was old, she Lolly felt that too. Mm -hmm. In some ways, it did stop, stop to block. Her. It blocked her in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But um, none of the others know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
Did Miss Davies give her any of these aches and pains that she's had? She had... Um, it seemed like she had... Like she would... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These old lady symptoms? Yes. Okay. Tell me if any of these had to do with, with Miss Davies. Did the eyesight have anything to do with it? Or is that something else? Uh, just a little bit. Not okay. too much. Okay. What about the chronic fatigue? Yes. Always feeling tired? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the arthritis in her fingers? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about all these points, pressure points? Yes. Was that it too? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she tells me that she's had her bowels kind of not working properly. Does that have anything to do with it or is that something else? Part of that was mm -hmm. Emily. Okay. And part of it is she needs to eat better. She needs to eat better. She's not eating well. She needs to leave off some things. Mm, like what, well, for example? She says she's got a sweet tooth. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the yes. sugar doing to her body? It's messing with her hormones, mm -hmm. and it's putting on some belly mm -hmm. weight, and it's just not good for her. And she's always had that sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So can we do some rewiring of her mind and taste buds so that she is not tempted yes. to eat those sweets? And I'd like to ask on her behalf for a guide who will be her nutritional expert and fitness person who will guide, who will, who will motivate her to do more walking, more exercise. Yes. And eating better. Thank you. Very good. She says that, uh, so that will release the part of her mind that, uh, th that likes all that, right? She says yes. it, she said it thought it she thought it came from her childhood. Is that true? Well, the part that came from her childhood is not so much the sweets, it was the comfort eating. Mm -hmm. She's constantly feeling like she needs to sit there and have something popped in her mouth. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a pacifier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does she need that anymore? No. Mm -hmm. So let's imagine herself using that food in a much better way. I want for you to remind her that when she puts something in her mouth, she can question it. Is this something that's benefiting me? Is it a fuel? Or is it something that it's just extra pounds. Because when she starts looking at her food like fuel, you can't fill up a gas tank and keep filling it, can you? After a while, you're going to have an explosion of gas running all over the place. So as she stuffs herself, I'd like for her to get that image of just overfilling that fuel tank running over her shoes, down the road, as she continues to feed her face with stuff that's no longer needed. Is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. She says she would like to know if she's been in contact with her grandmother, Lupi. And you said someone told me she was a guide now. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's trying to push her. What is she trying to push her into doing? The things that she wants to do. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like her. She wants She wants to do psychic mediumship. Mm -hmm. 
and she wants her to pursue that. She's been wanting to pursue that. Mm -hmm. Well, now that she has those blocks taken away, what does she say now? What does Lupi like to say now? She wants, she wants me to get right on it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So, Grandma Lupi, can you help Lolly with this task? She says she sure can. Very good. Very good. And now, how is her dad doing? He said, I was waiting for you to get to me. Mm -hmm. What does dad want to say? He wants me to know that, yes, he was there to help us during our move. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's there when we travel. He's always there to help take care of us and to take care of my mom. Mm -hmm. And let's find out why it is that she made that move. Who was the one pushing her to move from California? They all were. They all were. Yes. Let's find out why. What's the reason that you had to move out of California? California is not the place that she was, was not the environment that she had to be in to develop. And it was a little toxic for her mm -hmm. psychically. So she had to go where it was open, where there's open space and open field. That's why. Well, that's pretty good, but she's a little bored now. Yes, because she is afraid, she was afraid to do things, mm -hmm. to start doing what she was supposed to or wanting to do. So now that she has eliminated those blocks, she's ready to go out full force, how can she make changes where she is right now? Does she need to make changes? She wants to open a, sh a sh gift shop mm -hmm. and have an office in the back to do her hypnosis. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's we been helping her with that. Very good. Yes. So can I ask on her behalf for m more, a bigger team? Yes. Now that she is open, she's ready, yes. she's motivated. We're there. All right. How big is this team, please? 16 of us. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful entourage. Very good. So now she has questions about some spirits that have been connecting with her. She's had connections with Jim Morrison, mm. Michael Hutchins, yes. and she's also had dreams with Barry White. Yes. Can you tell me what, why they are there? Do they know her from a different life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her what. They don't know her from a different life. They know her from spirit life. Okay. Where from the same spirit group, soul groups. Entertainers and celebrity artists created tend to be in the same groups. Mm -hmm. So what are you telling Lolly about her gifts? Is she going to be well known for these gifts? Is she part of this entertainment business or do they just know her from the spiritual realm to connect with her? She They know me from 
Mm. Oh, yes, they they want to encourage mm -hmm. her creative, her creative. She's creative and she doesn't realize it. Mm -hmm. So who would like to come forward and give her that information? And that's why, that's one of the reasons why Miss Davies attached to her. Mm -hmm. Yes. It all makes sense, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So what would like they like to tell her? Are they going to help her? <sighs> they said it's about time I listened to them. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, they said that I could sing and and I could I'll see. I could, I could be very entertaining sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, who would like to step forward as her guide to help her with this? Michael. Very good. Thank you, Michael, very much. Jim said him too. Mm -hmm. What about Barry? Barry says that he will talk to me when I need to talk. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. So now we know. Oh. What else do you get? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. What does he have to say? He... He's just going to be there, too. Very good. She's got a whole entourage of very, yes. very uh, talented artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> Dolores? Mm -hmm. She's there. What, does, what would Dolores like to say right now? She was going to help me when I, I had asked her. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, I will help. Very good. What would be a good mo modality for her to help others? Because now we know she's got hypnosis. We've got the psychic medium. She does cards, tarot cards. What's a good road for her to take right now to help other people the psychic medium the psychic medium yes mm -hmm. she, that's the road she should be on yes mm -hmm. that's why she gets excited when she thinks about about it but she thought Maybe it had to be a different way. Mm -hmm. Talking about the psychic medium stuff, why did she write that book, that story that she wrote? Which story? The story that she wrote that her sister connected with. To help her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who was helping her with that story? Oh my gosh, that's one of my talents. Mm -hmm. That's what they're trying to tell me. Okay. That I could write short stories to help people. Very good. Um, who, who can help her with that? There's a, a woman named Margaret. Mm -hmm. She had a life here before, but she was a painter. And she said she will help me. Very good. Thank you very much. Well, now that she's going to be going into this new endeavor mm -hmm. with confidence and totally a different woman, how do you see her future as far as relationships are concerned? Is there somebody new that will be matching this new frequency? Or will she be going back to someone that she's known before? Hmm. 
proceed right now it seems like the distance is there because she needs to do this alone mm -hmm. but eventually sometime in the future there will probably be someone new how will she recognize him how will she know it's him Eyes. His eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has she known him before? Not there. No. No? No. Okay. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Lolly was concerned that she would get dementia also. What would you like to tell her about that? <clears throat> keep her body healthy mm -hmm. and her spirit and mind keep your frequency on love and you won't get anything wonderful there is a question that we didn't ask is about she heard something like Native American drumming and singing what was that all about? She sent it to go away and now she's regretting it. She didn't intend to, but she she and when it she tapped into a different time. Mm -hmm. When it was unexpected. So it's it's okay. The, the spirits are okay with her asking for it oh. to go away. They're not. They're not upset with her about it. Okay. So she'll be able to connect with them again if she chooses. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Very good. Very good. Would you please do a body scan today? Yes. You tell me what you find. Her eyes. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her eyes? Especially the right eye. Mm -hmm. It's there. Something blue. Mm -hmm. some, something like... I don't know. Can we connect with that and see what it is? Is that an energy? Um, or is it an implant? What is that? It's, it, it's just there. It's just there. It's like a, well, it looks like a, like a marble, mm -hmm. but it's a dark blue marble. So can we find out what that is? Honing on it even further. Let's find out what this blue mass is. Does this blue mass have consciousness? I don't know. All right. Can we begin to do some healing on that today? Yeah. All right. I'd like to ask for the non-physical physicians to come in. And let's begin working on that blue mass and tell me what they find. What is that mass? Something, something that's not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So can we have them remove it, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Have they removed it? Yes. Very good. So I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to to fill that space behind her eye while we continue to do the scan and see if there's anything else. Mm. 
there's something still on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Like it's removed it, there's something there. All right, let's keep going and see what's there. It's. I think it needs to be talked to. All right, so let's bring that energy down. Down, 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 down. Good evening. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What may I call you? Boss? Bosser? What is it? Bosser. Bosser? Boss. With an F like. Fosser? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Fosser, how old are you? How old are you, Fosser? It says no age. No age. So, Fosser, are you an entity or have you been created by Lolly? An entity. Entity. Did you ever have a body before? No. No? So, how is it that you came upon Lolly? She tried drugs one time. Mm -hmm. And what happened when she tried drugs? We came in. Mm -hmm. How many are you? Oh. There's, there's some in her feet and in mm -hmm. the eyes. Mm -hmm. Where else? Just to be nice. All right. Are you two connected? Are you and the feet connected in some way? No. No. So what is the reason why you are in her eyes and not back to source? We're just... We're just matter. You're just matter. Mm -hmm. We just float around and look for openings. What do you do? How do you affect her? We affect her eyesight. Mm -hmm. In what way? We make it blurry. Mm -hmm. For what reason? And we make it. We make it where the sun is hurts her eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the reason why you do that to her? We don't have eyes. Ah, you don't have eyes. Yeah. So you want to use her eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could see. Now you can see if you had a different shape, couldn't you? If you weren't this type of matter, you could be a different type of matter, couldn't you? Yeah. We don't know. All right. So I'm going to ask for the Christ light, the divine light, to come in and shine on you, Fosser. This is the brightest, most creative light there is. And let's begin transforming you. And tell me what you feel as that light connects with you. We... We, um... We all know what that is. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? It's, it's, it's better mm -hmm. than, than the eyes. It's so, Foster, let's begin riding that light. Go ahead and follow that light. Okay. And tell me how it feels as you follow that light. Removing yourself from behind her eyes. Oh, the ones in the feet, they don't want to come. Mm-hmm. Well, tell them how it feels to be in that light. They won't come. Mm hmm But the ones in the eyes are all coming. Mm-hmm. 
We're going higher and higher. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, the ones in the feet haven't felt the light yet. So I'd like for now, now to ask that same Christ light, that divine light from source, to go ahead at full, full power and go to her feet. And allow that consciousness there to feel the love, feel the power, feel the transformation of love. And tell me what's happening now. I think they like it. Mm -hmm. okay. They like it. Very good. So let's have them move up into that beautiful light. Removing themselves, floating out of that space in your body and out into that beautiful light. And I'd like for all of the angels here today to go ahead and begin escorting them home. They're going. Mm -hmm. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. And now I'd like the higher self to continue scanning her body and tell me if there's any other energies. Let's find out what's going on with her neck. There's no other energies. Very good. So let's find out what's happening with her neck and upper back muscles. Why is she getting that stiffness? It's her posture. Her posture. Very good. Yeah. So can I ask for a guide on her for her on, for her posture? Yeah, mm -hmm. she feels crooked sometimes. Very she's good. Crooked. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now I'd like to ask the higher self if there's anything else that we need to work on today. Yes. Mm -hmm. she's, she wanted to know if. She her she had a dream that her son came to talk to her. Mm -hmm. If it was a real, if it was real, yes, mm -hmm. yes, he did come talk to you. Very good. Anything else that you would like to tell her today? You're loved. Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. You're amazing. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, wow. <laughs> Just wow. How long do you feel you're on this journey? How did it feel? Yeah, it felt like probably like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going on almost two hours right now. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I see, I, I, when I see the videos, I see that, but I just, I could see it, how people think it's just 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we went through wow. a lot today. How does your body feel? Well, it felt, mm, it doesn't feel as old. <laughs> <laughs> My legs don't feel as old. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You feel a little rejuvenated right now? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got rid of that old lady? What? The old lady, Miss Davies? Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Interesting, huh? That was, that's like, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. And little Emily? 
Mm -hmm. It was in your stomach, poking you. <gasps> yes, I, I, I could see how she looked. Oh my mm -hmm. God, she's just, she was hiding. She was hiding, yeah, she like, was afraid. Oh my gosh. So while you're lying there, I'm going to switch from selenite oh. to shungite so that you can start grounding yourself. Okay. So let me have you switch from these to these. Oh, wow. Nice, huh? Mm. Oh, what a difference. <laughs> it feels different. Uh-huh. So we went through a lot today. Is this something that you find personal? Or you want to share some of it? Um, it was a lot of information for you. Oh, was it personal? A lot of it was about the new earth at the beginning. Oh. Do you remember that? I, I, yeah, kind of, not all of it, not but I it. do remember. What we can do is we can wow. keep the part that has to do with the new earth and just take everything else out, which is your personal questions and your personal life. Yeah, the personal, I mean, the, um, I, I think I'm okay with sharing it. I just, mm -hmm. just the personal stuff. Yeah, take out. the personal stuff out. That's usually what you do, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> so tell me, how was this experience for you? It was fantastic. I yeah. Mean, it, was, I, it was just, it just makes you think about, you know, what life's about. But then it's just an experience. Now you have been, yeah. hip she's been hypnotized before. So tell, tell, tell everybody what difference it was this time. Well, I have I've not been asked I mean I'm asked questions mm -hmm. in this way. Yeah, it's, it's a different type of hypnosis. Yeah, um, but this experience was just it's like the answers just come to you. <laughs> just, yeah, right. it's just they, they just come to you. Yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. So you have been trained in two different types of hypnosis already. And tell everybody what your experience is in, in, in what you're doing now. I'm working, um, I've, I've been trained with the QHHT and with the interest, introspective. Introspective hypnosis, hypnosis yeah. Uh -huh. And also with um, the uh, Easy Keys to Life. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm working mostly with the QHHT and the introspective. Uh, what Alba does basically. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting off, but um, I'm gonna start building that. Too. And where are you located? I'm in Nebraska. She's in Nebraska. In Nebraska. She came all the way here. Mm -hmm. Right near So Kansas. now we know that if you're near Nebraska, you can find her to do a session on you. Mm -hmm. So, and you're also gonna be doing other things. You're gonna be doing the psychic work. I'm gonna be working on my psychic and uh, mediumship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done a little bit before, but. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I feel like I'm gonna start busting out of the scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now, how did it feel to be in hypnosis? A lot of people ask that. Did you feel like you were sleeping? Do you feel you were sleep talking? What did it feel like? Mm, it, it felt it's really comfortable. It's not scary in any in any way. Um, it feels like you're aware. And you're, you're also aware of what you're saying, but mm -hmm. you're, you're not really saying the things that you're, <laughs> that you're saying. Um, you, it's just, it's you have to come experience this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah. describe it. It's indescribable. Mm -hmm. um, so now that you've had this experience, you think this is going to make you a better practitioner? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now you understand yeah. how it is. Because I, I took the class online, so I didn't have it people to practice with. So. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You've been doing self-hypnosis mm -hmm. all this time. Yes. What's the difference between self-hypnosis and this? What was the difference? Oh, this one, this one definitely is a deeper mm -hmm. um, way to go. And then you have somebody who's asking the questions. That's so. right. That's yeah. right. And, you know, when you go into your own hypnosis, you can find out a lot of things, but when you have somebody asking you, it makes you pull out things mm -hmm. that you wouldn't, wouldn't normally, you wouldn't normally go there. Right. With. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, do you recommend this to other people? Oh, definitely. If you're interested, see Alba, or see uh, yeah. <laughs> or see her. <laughs> or, or see her. <laughs> yeah. So, so, very good. So, if you would like to see me, my website is albawineman.com, 
and I travel all over the place. So the best way for you to find me is to go to my website to the out of town page. There is a link there to subscribe to my newsletter and I put out a monthly newsletter telling people where I'll be traveling to next. And if you're in a city where I'm going to, sign up really fast. There's very limited slots and they go like that. So I hope to see you at one of my sessions. Thank you for watching. Bye. What? <laughs> hug, hug, hug. Mm. <laughs>